Just for fun, we'll do this again from scratch. Let me delete this out. Using the action pad, I'll find rectangle and create a rectangle at the 1-1 one, one position. And I'll just come up to about here again and then do my rectangle to put in a notch. And then scroll down here and find quick trim. Quick trim out the little black line and the big black line. Go to auto constrain, highlight the whole profile, say okay. Uh, that's okay, but I like the overall length, width, and height. So I'm gonna try something here. I'm going to undo this, highlight this, auto constrain, and pick this as a datum and this as a datum. Stack dimension, say okay. Sometimes I get what I want, sometimes I don't. But in this case, it pretty much got everything except for I don't like how it dimensioned to that notch. Okay? Now, all I have to do really is delete the dimension and dimension the width. That's, that's all you have to do. And that's usually what I do, but I'll just show you another trick here. I'm going to undo this. Undid one too far. If I know I have a notch, what I usually do is I just highlight the whole thing and I auto constrain that and say OK. Now I've controlled the size of the notch. Now I can go to auto constrain and reference this line and this line. We'll stack dimension it, say OK. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, I got my overalls. That's what I always want on a part. I'm controlling the size of the notch. What I don't like, what it does, I don't know why it comes to the top and goes down. What I do is just delete this constraint out and add in the constraint I do want. Under constraints, I'll grab this one here. And then this line over here. Oh. oh, it's painful. Sometimes my cursor does not find these elements that easy because that seven is right in my way. Notice now when I go to analysis, I got a closed profile and it is fully constrained. Quick and easy. In my class, what I want to teach you is techniques on how to be faster. And make things easier for you. Learn how to use the tools that are available for us to do this part correct. The reason why I like the auto constraint is it doesn't over constrain and it doesn't under constrain. It has all the constraints you actually need. So I don't have to think about what constraints are needed. It'll just do it for me. I'll do one more demo adding holes.